Well, did you know that Utah is one of the leading states to have the best transplant surgery outcomes? An international, or pardon me, Intermountain Medical Center is probably the best in the country. In fact, they're a cut above the rest. If you ever need their services, you could be guaranteed that you are going to be in the right hands. I don't do well staying at home. <laughs> it's not something you expect in life. About six and a half years ago, I was diagnosed with lupus. It's a disease that can have a devastating effect on the kidneys. I've actually gone through kidney failure three different times now. And Melissa Platt knows what it's like waiting for a miracle. I ended up on dialysis for about three and a half years uh, before I was on the transplant list. But Melissa had a guardian angel, her friend Alicia. As soon as I knew it was a, a kidney thing, I, you know, immediately thought that, you know, maybe if it came to like needing a transplant, that I would get tested to see if I could give her, you know, give her my kidney. <laughs> Melissa was lucky. After she found Alicia was a match to give her a kidney, the transplant happened just two months later. That's not often the case for the thousands of others across the country who need a transplant. Usually it's about a year to wait, they say. Dr. Diane Alonzo is part of the transplant team at Intermountain Medical Center, where Melissa and Alicia had their surgeries. It's one of only 80 centers in the entire country that offers transplant services. And Intermountain Medical Center's program prides themselves on being a cut above the rest. Our liver transplant outcomes are almost 10% higher than the U.S. national averages with three-year survival rates at around 86%. When you look at the net U.S. national average, it's more like 78, 79%, so that's really great. The hospital specializes in thoracic and abdominal transplants, providing services for people who need a kidney, liver, heart, or pancreas. Last year, we did 125 combined liver, kidney, and pancreas transplants. But there's still over 100,000 people waiting waiting on lists to receive a healthy organ or tissue. Each day, 77 transplants are performed across the country, but 18 people will die each day waiting for that transplant. Melissa has known her donor for a long time. We've actually been friends for 11 years. But you don't have to know a donor recipient to be an organ donor. Intermountain Medical Center teams up with the Intermountain Donor Services on the Good Samaritan Donor Program. You can get tested to donate an organ or tissue to anyone who needs it across the entire country. They have absolutely no idea where these organs go. They just want to do something and save someone else's life, uh, even when they are going through their own pain. Another thing Dr. Alonzo says you should think about is having that talk with your loved ones. If for some, you know, if some unforeseen accident happened or whatnot, that they will educate you to that process. And sometimes you, families, if they don't know that that's what their family member wanted, they might have a harder time making that decision. For Alicia, the decision was an easy one to make. Sometimes I wonder if they really did take my kidney out because I don't feel different, you know? <laughs> you save someone's life. It's just, there's nothing better in the world than, than giving something like that. It's an unbelievable friendship. And Touching, I mean. Yeah, heaven forbid and blessings on you if you ever do need um, uh, transplant surgery. Really, Utah is the place in Intermountain Medical Center. You cannot have Amazing. a better facility. You can't. For more information, if you want to become a donor, or they also have a program, it's called the Good Samaritan Program, where uh -huh. you could donate and it could go to anybody in need. You can contact the Intermountain Medical Center and they'll hook you right up. And it's all free for donors, even the testing. And you can find that on our website, connecttoutah.com. Yeah.